I see that most of the participants uh, have a Latvian as a native language, so I will uh, and uh, uh, good uh, Welcome, dear ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy that I have the opportunity to speak to a very diverse audience, interested audience, on a topic which in Latvia is not only a short-term but also a long-term priority, namely innovation and its development, and what are Latvian priorities in this area. I hope that my report is going to uh, make it easier to understand the focus of Latvia and what Latvia has done in the field of innovation and what should be done. And uh, this will certainly assist in implementing the Baltic Sea region strategy. Innovation today certainly is the most important economic drive drive for economy. I hope that we are going to be more competitive in the future and this will largely depend on our steps today, what we can do, both governments and uh, companies, uh, education and research, how we shall be able to meet the new challenges. My presentation today deals with three topics. Uh, very shortly, with an accent on, on emphasis on innovation and uh, I want to speak about economic development trends, about economic challenges and policies for further growth that we need here, and uh, activities implemented for support of innovation like we today. So this is a slide or a vision on how uh, on what we have done um, or how uh, Latvia has done before and now so we see this uh, up curve uh, we have the year uh, between 2006 and 2009 was not sustainable. It was based on loans and then we had a very um, bad downturn. The policy that we uh, need for the future should be focused on uh, good growth. Uh, around 4.5% GDP growth rate per year, but uh, the basic scenario is still 2% of GDP growth, and uh, we see that in only in 2015 uh, we hope to reach the GDP level we had in 2006, so we need to implement policies that would uh, uh, promote growth. If we look at 2004, which is like uh, basic year here, and if we look at the growth in 2011, the first half of 2011, then we see that we are now growing faster than we actually uh, have envisaged, according to our basic scenario. If we look at this slide, we can see that the Latvian, the basis for that growth has been export, and now export volumes exceed volumes in the years of fast development that we had before, in the highest peak of this period. And in demand, domestic demand is still lagging back. It does not still reach the level of 2006. Though also here we have some growth for a bit over a year, but from a lower base. 
tuvākā periodā eksporta izaugs. No, if we look at export growth, export growth is going to drive growth in Latvia. Many speak about who is what is the basis of growth, whether it has been growth of export demand or higher competitiveness of our sectors. Here we can see the effect of export demand and the effect of competitiveness. And we see that in 2009, 6% of export decline was because of uh, low competitiveness, down slide of competitiveness, and there was also a, a decrease of global demand. But in 2010, we see that both uh, there has been the competitiveness effect and the external demand effect, which have both had a promoting effect on growth. So 28.5% of our growth is due to higher competitiveness. And if we look at the quality of growth, then we see that export has actually grown by 30% since 2007. The relative growth uh, has also a high added value. Uh, we, we have high value added product growth, and we see that in 2011 the trend actually continues, and we see that more and more products that we export have higher added value. This is, can be seen only also in this slide, which shows 2009. Eurostat uh, usually has de deviances in the data uh, we can see there. We can see here the Baltic regions, the Baltic Sea region states, except Germany. The volume. Uh, still is lagging, but if we look at high-tech uh, ratios in uh, GDP, then we can see that Latvia and Lithuania uh, really are the countries where high-tech shares are growing. And in other countries, there are divergent results. We certainly uh, know that Latvia has the lowest level of high technologies in the export structure in its export structure uh, among the EU countries, and we have to resolve this issue. We have to work on this issue. Uh, this is a well-known picture of. Uh, World competitiveness, global competitiveness, there are indicators who show different levels of development, different countries which are on div uh, divergent levels of development. Latvia now is a country which they call an efficiency-driven economy. And in this, and here we also have some focuses for development, but we have to look at this competitive index, and 30% uh, of our focus should be uh, uh, placed on innovation and sophisticated industries and sophistication, so smartness or in indexes. These are also the uh, development uh, uh, vectors. If we look at the competitiveness indexes and compare us to other uh, Baltic Sea region countries, 
we can see that we are similar in labor market effectiveness and in healthcare effectiveness and in primary education with other countries. Certainly, we shall always be influenced by market size and we don't think there is going to be much growth in Latvia in this aspect. But uh, if we look at other indicators, we also should have more activities there. In total, our planning instrument is a national reform program for economic growth. And then we have an innovation support system. We have to understand the innovation support system has elements which uh, uh, the Ministry of, e is, of Economy is certainly responsible for, but the responsibility is also with the Ministry of Science and Education. Speaking about specific instruments, uh, we have a number of them uh, in the Ministry of Economics. If we look at the aims, the quantitative target of Latvia for expenditure on research and development is 1.5% of GDP in 2020. Now we have only 0.4% of GDP in research and development. And the 1.5% we have discussed a lot also with an employer's confederation whether we might have a target which is two times lower than the GDP GDP target for EU, but in absolute figures this would mean that within uh, the next few years we should uh, have uh, an eight times higher figure for research and development to reach this 1.5 percent goal, which is a huge challenge for any country. In order to get 3 percent, we should multiply our the real amount more than 17 times, which is hardly feasible. But I certainly also think that we should have ambitious targets. So we have this ambitious target to increase our investment in research and development eight times. Of course, it's better if we get in higher amounts of investment. The 3% that we have on the, inter on the EU level also speaks of only 1% of public financing, the rest being private financing. If we look at our present development level, we think that uh, we should reach a situation that uh, two in 2020, which had 1% of public financing and 0.5% of private financing. I don't think that we would be able to reach a situation when we'd have two lats of private financing per one lat of public financing. Now, if we look at our national reform program, we the task is to promote cooperation between enterprises and researchers, to su support development and uh, to support innovative companies and to have access to promote access to early stage financing. What are our activities? Latvia even during the financial crisis, accessible resources uh, are very limited. 
We simply don't have our own tools for financing. We only have actually the structural funds or uh, instruments co-financed by the structural funds or financing co-financed by the structural funds. Uh, then uh, we have our instruments from the Latvian uh, Investment and Development Agency uh, for programs of competence centers, which is a rather long, uh, an old project. The first, it was started the first ideas uh, we launched or started 10 years ago, and now we have already the first agreements and the program has actually been launched. launched we have six competence centers in the areas where Latvia is most active in export. Where uh, we have export with high added value, the total financing available from public resources is 56 million euro, and the private uh, participants are going to co finance 30 million euro until 2000. And Fourteen. Then we have technology transfer centers. Aukskolās ir izveidot astoņi šādi pārnesi centri, un kopējais finansējums ir 2,75 miljonu eiro. Million euros. The center works. We need to say that there are problems in the implementation of the projects. It uh, goes on relatively well. It seems that um, the universities have pri priorities that are connect connected with businesses at different levels, but these are quite a high level. And, but very often they do it like this, they do all the other types of work and then get down to cooperation. But this is an aspect that we shall try to improve. In order to uh, the establishment of innovative companies, we have uh, grants uh, for development for new products and technologies in production. This is a program, the program that has uh, already uh, is already over 188 uh, um, uh, agree, uh, contracts for uh, to the amount of uh, uh, 45. Five million euros, including experimental types of work, also for the purchase of equipment for these uh, programs. Uh, the, uh, uh, this is high um, uh, value, uh, added value um, uh, investments. Here we had 27 contracts, and the Minister of uh, Economy is going to organize a second tier here. Unfortunately, some some of these contracts have not been implemented. And in 2012, we have a smart technology fund. This has been approved. It is a Norwegian financial uh, instrument to the amount of 11 million euros. That will be implemented relatively soon. At present, uh, we are close to finish. And then, of course, there are uh, business incubators, programs where there are nine regions and one creative uh, incubator, uh, incubator in Riga to the amount of 28.7 million euros. And then we have a motivation program for innovation and entrepreneurship. The uh, goal is to motivate to, to start uh, their own businesses uh, and pr pr we provide consultations and we have also here the idea cup a special type of uh, activity and finally about access to early stage finance here we have a number of uh, programs for venture capital for seed capital for startup funds uh, to the uh, 
to the uh, here the European Investment Fund and Latvian Guarantee Agency are uh, managing it, uh, and then. Uh, in the future, it will be like a guarantee uh, agency that will be responsible. The aim is to provide financing both for uh, seed and startup funds uh, and uh, also venture capital, also uh, credit uh, instruments. A new instrument is mezzanine instrument that is uh, a loan that is uh, similar to ca capital loan and then we shall have co-investment and growth funds starting with 2012 the total financing that the remaining one for the second part of this year up to the end of 2013 is 87.5 million euros this activity is established so so that the financing should not peter out at some moment, but it should be continued, it should last. These are the basic activities that the Ministry of Economy has planned for this period. We have also work at the next planning period. We see the perspective and we shall see that we shall continue support support to business companies to start businesses and also for the implementation of innovative so solutions for uh, uh, capital uh, projects for seed capital and various types of loan programs. We have been uh, evaluating very carefully all the grant uh, where uh, especially if uh, the activities have uh, been um, in uh, to big amounts, they have not been really given good results. Thank you very much. I shall be happy to take your questions.